Riley Strain, 22, a finance student at the University of Missouri, was in Nashville for his fraternity's spring formal. After a night of drinking with friends at Luke Bryan's bar, Luke's 32, staff asked him to leave. Riley told his friends he'd walk back to their hotel, Tempo by Hilton, which was five blocks away. Instead of heading towards the hotel, however, he seemed to walk in the opposite direction. Video footage later showed him stumbling away from downtown towards the river. His phone last pinged between 10 and 10.30 p.m. near Public Square Park by the Cumberland River. Since then, his phone has been inactive. When Riley didn't return to the hotel, his friends reported him missing. Authorities describe Strain as six feet five inches tall with a slim bit build, blue eyes, and light brown hair. Strain's cousin, Chelsea Strain, portrayed the 22-year-old student as a gentle soul who is very caring and always ready to help others. During a live stream on TikTok, two users helping search for the missing college student discovered his credit card close to the Cumberland River. A body was discovered in the Cumberland River in West Nashville on the morning of March 22nd. Riley Strain was found by workers around 7.28 a.m. They were searching for any objects in the river when they noticed what appeared to be Strain's body. The fire department retrieved the body and the medical examiner's office examined it. No signs of foul play were found during the examination at the riverbank. Renowned forensic expert Dr. Michael Baden and doesn't see signs of foul play in Riley Strain's death. Despite Strain drowning in the Cumberland River after a night out in Nashville, Baden points out there's no clear evidence indicating foul play. Strain's family, however, ordered a second autopsy because Strain was found without his pants or wallet and there was a lack of water in his lungs. Baden explains that losing clothing in rivers is common due to various factors like branches or rocks, so it doesn't necessarily imply foul play. Regarding the small amount of water found in Strain's lungs, which led to speculation he might have been killed, killed before drowning, Baden suggests that after two weeks in water, the water content in the lungs becomes unreliable due to decomposition. He believes Strain likely fell into the water while intoxicated and drifted downstream, possibly losing more clothing along the way. Notably, valuable items like his shirt, socks, and an Apple watch weren't taken, indicating it wasn't a robbery.